She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that feeds her You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her I deny all these allegations against me. They are false. I would not kidnap my own children. I am not a monster. And I'm not crazy. I can hear you up there, by the way. I just wanted to see my children. So I took them from their house. I should be allowed to do that. I have half the custody of my children. If I need to take them, then I'm allowed to take them. I just think that this has all been blown out of proportion and everybody needs to calm down. I did not kidnap them. Let me say that. And uh, I just, I just miss my children and I miss my wife and I want to go home and I can't do this. <laughs> I can't believe you did this to us. It was your idea to kidnap the kids. Now look at us, we're out here. Uh, what do you mean? I said I wanted to pick up the kids. You told me to kidnap them. No, this was all your plan. I knew I shouldn't have come here in the first place. It was ugly anyways. Oh, you're being dramatic. And it was your fault in the first place. <laughs> it's not my fault. This is all your fault. Nothing's ever my fault. I'm Debbie. I would have never taken the kids in the middle of the night if it wasn't for your stupid idea. I, I'm not stupid, I'm so smart! Stop saying that! Okay, sure. You know what day it is? I don't want to go to court! This is all your fault! Well, we have to go, it's the law. Well, if you never get that, then this wouldn't have happened, it's all your fault! Right, stop complaining, let's pick up all of our stuff and take it over to Ava's so that we can get ready. That okay. may I remind all on the floor? Because yeah. you Okay, just grab your things. It's not it's that big of a deal. Okay. Come on. It's disgusting over there. Oh, you're so dramatic. Oh, what time is it? Oh my gosh, it's so early in the morning. I haven't had to wake up this early in the longest time. I cannot believe it is officially court day. I mean, Ezra has lost his mind, to say the least, since he broke up with me. His new woman is not good for him, clearly. And oh my gosh, those lights are so bright. I really can't be able to get myself ready and looking fancy and smart for the day it's just oh i can't be doing it but i promised my lawyer ari that i would make sure everything goes to plan i need full custody of the kids i cannot have my kids staying with their dad and some crazy women on the weekends okay let me just oh, calm down it's gonna be fine in fact speaking of the kids i'm gonna go see them i mean after everything Landon and Liv obviously wanted to stay close to me after the whole kidnapping situation happened but Gigi and Maddie they are with Grandma Agnes and Grandpa Arthur just because they aren't actually needed in court for this and they don't really want to go to court I don't think I think all the kids are taking it a bit hard you know how their dad has turned out to be so I just thought it would be best to leave them with their grandparents but let's get Liv. Liv wake up oh you're both awake in here. How come you guys are up so early? We can't sleep. Landon came in here and like, we can't sleep. I mean, yeah. you guys know what day it is today, right? Landon especially? Yes. Where are we going today? To the courts. How do you feel about that? Are you okay? Or are you guys feeling a bit stressed, both of you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I hate this. I mean... It's okay to be a bit scared as well, you know, but don't worry. Ari is not going to let anything bad happen to you guys. You know, she's going to make sure that you guys can stay with me all the time if that's still what you guys want. Yeah, for sure. I don't want someone yeah. who kidnaps me all the time. Crazy. I'm sorry, guys, you had to deal with that. Now, come on. Let's go downstairs. Enough negative talk this morning. We need a good breakfast today, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Pancakes? 
Okay, pancakes sounds pancakes. perfect. Yep. Okay, well, how about I make these pancakes and you guys start to get yourselves ready. Now, remember, kids, you need to be looking super smart this morning, okay? You need the outfits that I bought you. I know you guys don't like them, but you need to be smart. Okay. It's if very you say so. smart, okay? No, I thought that was only you who had to dress up. Of course, everyone needs to be dressed smartly. If you dress smartly, you'll be taken more seriously. Now, I know you guys haven't really got to do much, but, you know, we represent each other, you know. We are a family, so we need to make sure we're looking smart and appropriate for court. Here, look, you might as well eat your pancakes first now, as soon as they're ready. Lucky for you guys, you don't have to go up and get on those outfits you hate so much. Yes, thank you, Mum. Oh, yeah, this is so good. Are they nice? Yeah. yeah, so good. I love them. Good. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the pancakes. Well, I'm going to need to get ready as well, but Landon, I'll come up and help you first, okay? Okay. All right, then, guys, once you've finished your pancakes, just put your dishes away and stuff. I know it's been a bit hard getting used to this new family setup, but we all need to help out a little bit more in the house, you know? Not that Dad helped anyways. Mm, tell me yeah. about it. I would know. Come on, kids, let's go upstairs and get you ready, okay? Liv, okay. You, I'm sure you're fine to get yourself ready, but Landon, you're going to need a little bit of help. So come on, I've got your outfit in my room. Okay. All right, then. Okay, I'm thinking the brown top that I laid out on my bed with these chinos and these trainers. They should be quite smart. Okay. Thank you for not causing a fuss, but we'll just wait until Liv is out of the shower and then we can get this nice outfit on after you've had a wash, okay? Okay. Okay, so that should be enough, but I spent maybe like 30 minutes in there. Should have done longer, but it's fine. Um, okay, let's change into this outfit. Oh my god, I actually hate this outfit so much. It's not even my style, but you know what? It's going to do for the day. Okay, let's go to my room and actually get ready. So... Let's start with some hair and makeup. So let's do some sunscreen because I think there's going to be kind of sunny today. Oh, I actually can't believe we're going to court. Like, I would never think in my 16 years of living I would ever be going to a courtroom to decide which parent I'm meant to be with. Like, that just sounds ridiculous. Okay, now let's go put on some moisturizer. Let's put this on. Oh, I'm actually so stressed for day. I can't believe me and I have to actually deal with this. This is like the worst thing a kid could actually deal with. Okay, after we finish putting that on, let's put some blush on. Okay, mum says we have to look like responsible and smart, even though I am already responsible, but we have to look very smart in this. Don't know why, but me and don't even have to say anything. That's fine, I guess. Um, let's put some mascara on. I have to be looking my best, obviously. Probably the best looking in the room. Okay, let's put that on. Oh, yes, good lash day. Oh, my God. That's what I love. Okay, and let's just put some bronzer on because I've got a look like tan. Oh, I still can't believe we're going to court. Like, that's, like, the worst thing that could ever happen. Can't believe this. Okay, I think that will do. Let's just put my hair into, like, a little plait. Um, oh, there we go. And how about this headband in my drawer? Oh, my God, that looks so cute. Okay, I think that's my outfit all done. I'm just going to go downstairs and go watch some TV. Oh, I'm really starting to get impatient now if I go into this shower room and she's in here. Never mind, I think she left a while ago. But, huh, does she take a long shower? Anyway, you jump into the bath. There you go. Make okay. sure you wash, please, and keep that closed so you don't splash me with water. Thank you very much. Right, let me clean my face. Gonna do a little bit of skincare while I've got Landon in the bath. And Landon, we gotta get on your really fancy outfit today. Are you excited? You look so smart. Not really. Why? It's so cute. Come on, let's get you out of here and take you to my room to get you ready. Okay. Okay, back on with that outfit. Right, here you go. You need your top on and your chinos and your shoes here you go put that on for me one arm two arm one leg two leg perfect landon you've messed up your hair by putting your top on here that needs a brush stay still need to comb that through Ow. it can't be hurting that much surely little put some gel in there as well 
uh, want some wax maybe so we can make it nice and smart there you go put it to the side a little bit see look you look so smart in oh. fact stay there landon close okay. your eyes we need it to yes. stay in place we've got a long day in court ready for some hairspray three two one go that side and go that side it's in my eyes Land, I told you to close your eyes, but looks like you're all ready. Come on, let's go show how cute you look to live. Liv, are you ready down here somewhere? Yeah, I've been ready for ages. You guys take so long. Oh, well. Oh my god, Landon, you look so cute. He does, doesn't he? And sorry, I'm not ready, but do you guys want to go out in the garden, catch some fresh air before we head yeah. out? Okay. Absolutely. All right, then I'll be ready soon. Okay, time to get myself ready because today is a very big day. I'm going to quickly run into the shower. Okay, time to get out of the shower. Perfect towel on, ready to get out. Oh, it's freezing out of the shower now. Let me quickly run to my room. Hopefully it's a little bit warmer in there. Oh, that's better. Okay, now for outfit. I'm thinking of wearing like a blazer and maybe a skirt to go with it. I need to look, one, good for me. Two, good so Ezra can see that he may have picked a new blonde lady, but this one is a better lady. Oh, still annoys me. Anyway, at least she could have been brunette. You know, make a change, but no. So we're going to do that. And then I also need to look good because I want to make a good impression to the judge and the jury. And just to everyone in the courtroom, you know, I mean, Fruithaven is quite a small community and it's brought a little bit of attention, you know, that a man who had a family, a <laughs> wife that loved him so much. <laughs> it's just horrible. I can't believe he did this to me. But anyway, it's caught a little bit of attention from the people of Fruithaven. So they're probably going to be nosy and investigate. So I'm going to need to make sure I look good today. Here you go. This outfit should be pretty good. I've got my bag with me and I'm also wearing my glasses. You know, it just makes me look a little bit more studious, ready for the part. You know, I need to look good today. So makeup needs to be caked on. I need a lot of that makeup. We're going to go in with a blush. Usually I might just do like one little dab, but we're going to do like 10 bits of blush today. This side, this side, and again, and again. Need all that makeup. Need to look good okay then we need some contour need some contour and powder because it needs to be looking snatched today the face i need that sharp jawline everything needs to look perfect there we go that's all done and lastly we're going to use that hairspray and spray this hair down because it cannot be moving it needs to look perfect there we go I mean, I think I look pretty cool ready. And if Ezra looks at this and doesn't think that you missed out, then he has gone insane. Anyway, I didn't want to talk about him. The only time I want to talk about him today is when I have to in that courtroom because we need to win this case. Where are the kids anyway? They're outside. Kids! Oh, there you guys are. What do you guys think? Uh, whoa. Oh. whoa. You're looking all smart. Thank yeah. you. I mean, I need to show you today. Uh, Liv, this is not a competition, okay? Mm -hmm. Anyway, we need to start moving ASAP because we're on a bit of a time limit, okay? We need to go as soon okay. as possible. Alright then. When do we have to get there? We're actually going to meet up with the lawyer Ari today first in the diner for some lunch before we head over to the court session because it's a little bit more later in the day so we've got a little bit of time you know to make sure we go over everything you know everyone knows what's happening because i know it can be a little bit scary but it's going to be fine okay i promise you guys everything's going to work out i hope so of course <laughs> it will okay now come on guys let's get it going we want to head over to the diner quickly before we miss the dead can night. i drive uh, what do you mean can you drive the diner is literally there come on let's go no silliness. Aww. Off we go. Come on, no time for messing around today. Hey, Peach family. Miss Ari, hi. Kids, say hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Nice I'm Ari. I'm your lawyer. 
Yeah, yes, nice to meet you. If you haven't met Ari yet, this is the lawyer that I've been speaking about and she will be our family lawyer. She's here to sort out custody and things like that for us, but we've got a little bit of time to kill until we have to go to the court session. So we thought we would keep you guys in the loop and have our little discussion in the diner, right, Ari? Yep. All right, then, come sit down, kids. Okay, let me just set up my laptop here. Oh, perfect. I brought mine as well, just in case. Here, kids, take a seat with Ari. Don't be shy. I'll go sort out some food for us. What do you kids want? A burger? Burger, please. And lemonade. Okay. Hi, Rick. Nice to see you. How's the family? Hey, hey, Lexi. It's going good. Good, I'm glad. Are you going to be at the court today or are you not making it? I mean, to be honest, I would probably give it a miss if I was you. It's going to get so heated. I don't even want to go myself. I'm sure Lisa has told you all about it. Yeah, I can't make it today because of the diner. Sorry. Don't worry. I will fill you in anyway. It's probably something you don't want to see because... I mean, I need to try to stay calm, but I feel like an argument is going to happen. But, you know, I can't let this mess up. But anyway, enough yapping. Could we get four burgers to eat in, please, Rick? Yup. Thank you. All right, then, guys. Uncle Rick is bringing over some food. Okay, so basically, Lexi, you know how this is going to work. But, kids, let me explain further for you. Okay, so opening statements we're going to have... And then we're going to have cross-examinations, closing statements, and verdict. What's a cross-examination? A cross-examination means I'm going to interrogate Ezra and DB. Exactly. So, basically, kids, what that means, you know, let me, I'll put it in mum terms for you. Oh, thank you, Rick, for the burgers. Thanks, Rick. No worries. Um, yeah. But Miss Ari over here will just try and make Ezra and Debbie crack a little bit, you know, basically get them to say that they're guilty, you know, because um, they did insanely kidnap you guys, <laughs> which, um, you know, still not over. But anyway, um, yeah, so that is basically what's the verdict. More questions for Ari. Poor lady, I'll help you, Ari, don't worry. Verdict kids just means the decision if they're going to go to prison or not. That's basically it. Oh. Prison? That's going to prison. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's not to say you won't see him. I mean, he might not. We have to see what the jury say, you know. They want Aww. him to go to prison or not. But, I mean, what he did was very, very wrong, okay? Landon, I know it's hard for you to understand. I know you're only young. But what he did was very naughty, okay? Okay. But any other questions, kids, for me and Ari? Um, How long would this whole thing go for? Well, this is really a set time when it comes to court. I mean, some cases can be a day, two days, ten days. Two days, ten uh, days. But I don't have time for that. My friend's okay, going to wait, go shopping. Wait, I don't want to be sitting finish. in the court, but like the whole time, I'm going to go shopping. Like, oh, Olivia. Mm -hmm. Yes. Remember, we've got company. Um. That's usually oh, yes. quite Hi. more serious cases, okay? Now, obviously, what happened here is very serious, but it's not complicated, you know? Um, there's not really oh, yeah. any missing pieces of information. So it should be a lot quicker than most court cases, okay? It's going to all work out fine. But, I mean, look at the time, guys. We should probably start getting ready to head over to court. Oh, don't remind me. It's yeah. going to all be fine, okay? Everything is all under control okay come on kids let's get going okay, okay bye ari well ari we'll uh, see you soon bye rick bye good luck a list. Thank oh you. a lift would be great you know Ooh. yep yeah thank, thank you. you so much what do you kids say thank you ari. thank you ari. you're welcome Don't get me wrong, I love playing with my dolls, but this is getting kind of boring now. I'm going to put this away and I'm really hoping Justin isn't in his room so I can sneak onto his computer and play Roblox. I've been wanting to play Roblox for so long. Okay, 
please tell me he's not in his bed he's always sleeping oh so boring and he's not gone through this window right he's always sneaking out through this window he's such a bad influence but looks like the coast is clear so i can go on his computer <gasps> and he left this cake here too last night this is the best day ever I can't wait to play some Roblox. I wonder what games I'm going to play today. I want to play some Berry Avenue, some Bloxburg, some Adopt Me. I need some new pets. Okay, let's play. Oh, why is there so many tabs popping up? Oh, what is this one? There's some news tab open. <gasps> OMG, this is crazy. The Peach family are going to court. What? I haven't heard anything about this. And my best friend who lives in that house, Gigi, hasn't told me a single thing. I mean, she has been a bit quiet these past couple days, so I guess it makes sense now. But let's look. <gasps> her mum is trying to get the kids all to herself. What? This is like national news. They might as well be the new Kardashians of this place. What is going on? And the dad cheated and kidnapped them. <laughs> Maybe that's why Gigi hasn't answered my messages on WhatsApp because she's been kidnapped and she's gone forever or maybe she's just maybe she's just chilling at home maybe i'm being a bit dramatic anyway i need to tell kylie about this because she loves drama like me watch her tell me though to get out of her room before i've even spoke kylie 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 bella get out of my room no don't tell me to get out of your room i haven't even spoke to you yet look you're gonna want to see this i promise it's good i promise i promise i promise i'm not here to try and get you to give me your bank card for once for robux but anyway different story look at this oh my god what the happened peach family literally just down the road are going to court because you know um my best friend Gigi. sometimes she comes over for sleepovers right you remember her dad picked her up a long mm. time ago that's yeah. because that was when they were together now look her mommy and daddy aren't together anymore and that's because her dad kidnapped her or her siblings. They, they I don't really know. Her. I know. He's insane. We're living in a neighborhood of a kidnapper. What are we going to do, what Kylie? We just moved here, too. I don't want to tell mum and dad that I don't feel safe here, but we need to put on the TV because just in case anything spoke about on the news, I'm such a nosy person. Come on, let's look. Grab some snacks out the kitchen, too. We're going to need popcorn for this. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, it's a big day today, but we're going to win this case for sure. A hundred percent. That's the spirit, kids, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. I told you that we needed to pick a different lawyer. This lawyer showed up in a hot pink car, and I know we have a hot pink car, but that's because of you, and you're crazy. How dare you call me crazy? I'm not crazy. I picked her because she has great fashion sense. You're crazy, so that means she's crazy too. Which You're means we have a crazy lawyer. Kids. I We're gonna told lose you. this case because of you. Well done. I told you to kidnap the kids. I didn't think you would actually do it. You That's literally came with me. You have your own choices. I don't choose what you do. Yeah, but you told me to do. You forced me to do everything. I I can't force you to do anything. You make your own decision. That's not. That's not on me, that's on you. You forced me to buy a pink car, you forced me to buy a pink house, and now you forced me to kidnap my own children. Well, I wanted them anyway, so it wasn't really going to matter. Ugh. Uh, guys, calm down, please. I'm not going to calm down. I'm in a court because I kidnapped my children when I didn't even actually mean to kidnap them. But you still did it. Oh, shut up. They're not even your children. Exactly, I didn't want them in the first place. I hate them so much. Then why are and you with me? Uh, uh, she could make us famous, and then we would send her to the adoption centre. That's all I wanted. Um, guys, we weren't meant to be pleading guilty in the public. We talked about this. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I promise. I didn't oh do God. it. Why are you shouting that you didn't do it like a crazy person? I'm not a crazy person. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You are crazy. Stop it. I'm crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh my gosh. Get a hold of yourself, please. <laughs> uh, Mum, what's it, Dad? 
Lexi, please. Please take me back. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, Ezra, please compose yourself. <laughs> Your new lady looks quite fancy. Hi, Debbie. I don't oh, want that. I want guys. you. Hi, How are you? Do you like my outfit? Look, let's do a 360. How are you? Kids, kids, just, just go into the courtroom. Just go into the Ezra, courtroom. Shut up. Follow Ari. Follow Ari. She'll take you in. <laughs> Ezra, shut up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you guys are embarrassing yourselves. Come on, we're in public. Okay. How are we going to win this case Sorry. with you anyways? How are we going to win this case when you guys are acting like this? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Like anything. It's him I'll saying, pull myself Lexi, together. Lexi, take me back, take me back. That's not my fault, that's his. He's just being a crybaby. It's fine. I'm, I'm okay. What, what? I'm, Go I'm cry okay. about it. <laughs> I am crying about it. That's what you have to do. Do you do it in the gym as well? Oh, wait, I forgot you stopped going. I still go to the gym. Doesn't look like it. Your best for Lexi, who's now going to get back with you. Hmm? You're meant to be a lawyer and you're talking to me like that. This is not very professional of you. Okay, is the judge looking? No, <clears throat> may I interject? Um, Ezra. You're disrespecting your lawyer saying about how she's acting and look at the way you're acting. Please, get a hold of yourself. For once, for once, I agree with this thing here. Oh, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. I'm fine. But I'm never going to agree with you again. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll see you both in the courtroom. Bye-bye. Okay, Get ready bye. for us to take Liv. Uh, okay, Lexi, you can't talk to him anymore. We have to act professional. Let's take a seat. Okay, what well, is this our bench here? Yep. Oh my gosh, all the notes. I feel like I'm going to forget everything that we went over. It's <gasps> okay. I'm starting to panic a little bit. Don't worry, we're going to get, we're going to win this case. Okay. Announcement, this court is about to be in session. I'm so excited. What is going to win? Yeah, I'm going to Yeah, him. Ezra seems crazy and so his girlfriend. Debbie! Debbie! Debbie, where, where is she? Huh? Oh, she's probably ditched. I just hope she comes back in time for the actual hearing because otherwise she's going to be in even bigger trouble. I know it sounds bad, but you need to be selfish, Ezra. Think about you, not her. Okay, I'll try. I'm scared. It's okay, Landon, don't worry. Mum and Ari have got this. Today we're here to discuss the case of Mr. Mr. Ezra Daniels versus Mrs. Lexi Peach in regards to the kidnapping of Olivia and Landon Peach. First, I'll have the prosecution to the stand. Good luck, Mum, you got this. Thank you. Oh, I'm starting to feel a bit nervous now. Okay, so Mrs. Peach, do you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you, God? I do. Please make your way to the stand. Okay, Lexi, here are all the notes. Remember what I taught you? Good luck. Thank you. Can I please hear your opening statements, Mrs. Peach? <clears throat> okay, oh, I've got this, I've got this. Hi there, citizens of Bloxburg. I'm Mrs. Peach, and I'm here to tell you guys the truth of what really happened that night when I found my husband over here kidnap my children with his new girlfriend, Miss Debbie Chanel. On the evening of the 14th of March, 2024, me and my two children, both Olivia Peach and Landon Peach, were sleeping peacefully at home. It was only until the evening I started to hear some strange sounds going on around the house. I didn't expect the worst. I mean, who would expect that their children would be kidnapped? It was only until the sound started to become unbearable that I woke up. But unfortunately, I woke up too late. <laughs> I can't believe that this is my new reality. <laughs> Ezra, hush your mouth. Okay, okay, I'll try. 
I began to get myself out of bed in a hurry after I heard all of these sounds and I searched the entire house top to bottom and they were absolutely nowhere to be seen. Olivia and Landon that is. I went into a full panic mode. I had no idea where they could have possibly gone at such late hours of the night. To be specific, it was 2.16am. I started to talk to people throughout Fruit Haven. We are a very small community and I have a lot of family in the neighbourhood. We all started to make some calls. I rang the police until I worked out exactly what had happened. And what exactly was that? Well, Ezra was meant to pick up the kids the night after. He usually has them on a Saturday and Sunday since we've broken up. We haven't been able to go for a divorce yet, but we are currently not seeing each other. However, despite our differences, of course, they are both of our kids. And I know he loves the children just as equally as I do. So it was important for me to make sure that he was seeing them. <laughs> And now look what I've done. I'm it's never right. going to see them again. <laughs> Enough. Grow up. Silence from the defendant, please. Once the police got involved with their missing investigation, we eventually found the children over at Ezra Peach and Debbie Chanel's new home. He had taken the children out of our old home that we used to share together without my permission. Therefore, I believe it, it to have been an abduction. These are false allegations! An abduction! That was never my intention! Sit down! Can we have order in the court, please? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just get emotional. That's embarrassing! Then, with the help of some police officers, I was able to take back both Olivia and Landon Peach to their home where they were safe and sound, and it didn't end in any other complications. Ava! You came. I knew you'd come. I still think what you did was wrong. And that is my reason for being here today, Judge. To tell you guys the truth. What really happened. There are no false allegations involved here. That man that I see across from kidnapped his very own children. <gasps> that will be all. Thank you, Miss Peach. Thank you. Oh, that was so scary. Oh, well done. You did great. Thank you. Mum, Mum, you did so good. Thanks, kids. Well Mum. Oh, 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 I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm panicking. It's me next. Oh my goodness, I can't do this. Do you know what? I quit. I'm actually what? sick of you. No, no. Now I'm loyalist as well. Oh. Good luck. Can I now have the defence, Mr. Ezra Daniels, come to the stand? <laughs> Hello? Mr. Ezra Daniels, do you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Please make your way to the stand. Oh, oh I'm not ready for this. <laughs> uh, he's not ready for this, so we're not ready for this. Okay, Mr. Ezra Daniels, feel free to share your opening statement. Um... Hello, people of Bloxburg. <laughs> I deny all these allegations against me. They are false. I would not kidnap my own children. I am not a monster. And I'm not crazy. I can hear you up there, by the way. I just wanted to see my children. So I took them from their house. I should be allowed to do that. I have half the custody of my children. If I need to take them, then I'm allowed to take them. I just think that this has all been blown out of proportion and everybody needs to calm down. I did not kidnap them. Let me say that. And uh, I just, I just miss my children and I miss my wife and I want to go home. I can't do this. <laughs> uh, please control yourself. You're in the court. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I, I regret my actions, okay? And that goes for you and the kids as well, Lexi. I regret my actions. Oh, he really is awful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so here, sorry. And I'm here to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Perfect. You're just in time. Now, may I call his accomplice, Miss Debbie Chanel, to the stand?
Right, so as I said, I'm here to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. So essentially, this whole thing purposeful. We were <gasps> planning to kidnap these kids because we wanted to see them and we couldn't be bothered to wait for the weekend. So I was the one who came up with the plan, but then um, he went into the house, got with the kids. They started, um, you know, yapping because that's all they ever do, I guess. Um, and then... Yeah, I guess we took them back to our brand new amazing home. Um, if you didn't know, it's a Barbie house, guys. Um, so, mm. yeah, they they wanted to... They, I don't know if they actually wanted to come or not, actually. I don't think they did, because they didn't seem very happy when we got them home. We didn't want to come with you! Pipe down. Oh, 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 this is so hard, I can't say anything. Anyway, moral of the story... We planned to kidnap them and it was purposeful, so I don't really get what he's talking about saying <gasps> we didn't want to. <gasps> it's a lie! It's all lies! She is a liar, she is a fake, she is a manipulator! This is lies! I this said, is I say nothing, character. but I said I say nothing but the truth, so of course they're gonna believe me. Plus, I have enough money to get me out of jail, anyways, even if I do go. You're dirt poor! What do you have? All you have to your name right now is $10. You have no money. The only thing you can afford is a bit of clothes from Primark, okay? I want order in the court. <sighs> Cross-examination, please. Okay, Asia. Where were you that night? I was in my house with Debbie. And approximately what time did you leave your house? I think it was around 1.30 in the morning to pick up the children. To kidnap the children, you mean? No. Okay, so did you contact anyone else that night? Indeed we um... did. We spoke to Leonard. <gasps> uh, um... <gasps> I've known Leonard since I think I was like a little girl. He's so sweet. So there was a third accomplice? No, 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 no. You've got it all wrong. There was no third accomplice. Okay, that's enough. Miss Ari, you can go back to your place now. Now it's time for the closing statements. I didn't do it. We are guilty and we're proud. For once, me and Miss Debbie Chanel agree. They are guilty. They abducted me and Ezra's children and they must have consequence for it. Actually, this is the second time we agreed. Remember earlier? I request full custody of my children and financial support from Ezra for taking care of them alone. Thank you for your closing statements. The jury will need some time to deliberate. We will be back shortly with a verdict. There's no question here, they are both guilty. I agree, let's go see the judge with our verdict. Yeah, all right. Thank you. You can go back to your seat. After deliberating, the jury finds the defendants guilty. In the case of Mr. Ezra Daniels versus Lexi Peach, we find both defendants guilty. Mr. Ezra Daniel Peach will be sentenced to 10 months in prison with an additional two months of community service within Fruit Haven. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. My life is over. And Miss Debbie Chanel will be sentenced to an extended two years in prison with an additional five months of community service within Berry Avenue. Miss Chanel will be permanently banned from Fruit Haven and any entry into the Fruit Haven will result in an extended prison sentence of 90 years with no parole. 90 years? Actually, never mind. That's okay. That's not that long. Yeah, with no parole. Yeah, well, Kim Kardashian can get me out, can't she? I mean, she's literally made of money. Mrs. Lexi Peach, you will be granted your request of full custody of all your children. Olivia Peach, Maddie Peach, Gigi Peach, and London Peach. I didn't even kidnap Gigi and Maddie. 
Your additional request of a restraining order from Miss Debbie Chanel will also be granted, and your final request of financial child support from your spouse, Mr. Ezra Daniels Peach, will also be granted. I now find the case of Miss Lexi Peach versus Mr. Ezra Daniels sold. The court is adjourned. Kids, we did it! Full custody! You don't have to worry about any of that drama anymore. Thank you so much, Miss Ari. You have been the best lawyer we could have possibly employed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No problem. Thank you, Ari. See you soon. Bye. Kids, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I should have never done that to you. But it's okay because yeah, you, you don't have to see me for a while. Let's but go. I'll be back. Okay, bye. Kids, come on. The media are right here with the cameras. Get a hold of yourself. No, no, no pictures. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Please. He's such no. a crybaby. Yikes. Thank you, Jerry, for your verdict. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. No, no paparazzi. No paparazzi. Let's go. Let's go. Wrong way, Liv. The car's over this way. Sorry. Let's go. Oh, we need to run. No. <laughs> I'm going to jail! She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that feeds her You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard